No, I mean, what what the thing is, is like when Aristotle, here, let me grab the text real quick. Yeah, I was looking uh, too. I came across it the other day, but I mean, this week I've just been so busy, so I haven't looked at it. But the posterior analytics in the middle of chapter seven talks about how in certain cases, transference between genera is possible. And he talks about it in chapters nine and 13. But then I haven't looked any closer. I don't know if he's if he means the same thing, genera and category. I think he does. Um, so, so here's the distinction that I think needs to be made. Um, if you if you mean that um, something can be in multiple genera according to different orders, that's totally possible. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> what I mean by that is, can something be primarily in one genus and secondarily in another? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, but can something be like primarily according to its essence in two genera? No. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Um, so, so I think reason, you were, so one yeah. thing that one thing that you'll notice if you um, if you look at the categories before he starts talking about any of them distinctly is um, is when he lists them, which is chapter three or four, something like that. It's chapter four. four. Four, yeah, um, he has an he has a, his his list right. Yeah. Uh, at the very beginning, substance, how much, mm -hmm. how towards something, where, when, being positioned, being outfitted, acting upon, undergoing. Right. That's the list. That's that's the whole list right there. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so you can see what's what the order of the categories is right there, just based off of that list. Right. Substance, how much, how towards something where when etc right mm -hmm. um but the way he treats it is not in that order right no. substance is first yeah which is right how much is second quantity is second mm -hmm. which is right but instead of dealing with how or quality he deals with towards something first yeah. and then quality mm -hmm. right so that's kind of a that's kind of a, a strange thing right he has a he he deliberately has this list here Mm -hmm. And then he also determines the order in which they'll, they'll be treated. Um, but that order doesn't reflect the order of his list, which is also determined by him. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's, it, that's yeah. strange. Kind of um, yeah. and, the, and, the, and the reason I think for that is, <clears throat> is this. Because there's so much of an affinity with certain species of quality being um, under relation, mm -hmm. uh, you have to distinguish what relation is primarily so that you see that those things that you might be tempted to put in relation are actually primarily qualities and only secondarily in relation hmm. okay. so here's here's how he talks about relation right he, every time he addresses a category he he like according to the natural mode moves from what's from what's more known to us to what's more known by nature right Yep. And what's the first way in which relation is known? What's the first kind of marker of relation? How do you determine mm -hmm. whether something's in relation first? Okay, what's the yeah. first sign? Uh, explained by reference to some other thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. in speech, right? Yeah. So if you say, which, yeah. if, it's, it's, if, it's sound, if there's a kind of reciprocation in speech, that's how you can tell some, whether something's in relation first. That's the kind of first sign, mm -hmm. right? You say double, half, father, son. Mm -hmm. um you know parent child uh you know things like that mm -hmm. you use there's a kind of uh or, um uh a reciprocation in your speech things are those are said to be towards something which as regard to what they are are said to be of another mm -hmm. or in some other way towards something right so if you see that in our speech we're inclined to reference something else when we talk about the one then you see, okay, well, that that's our sign that this is in relation, right? Mm -hmm. So there's reference in speech towards another, right? Mm -hmm. So then you notice, okay, well, with, when you t talk about something like knowledge, um, well, it seems to be in reference towards another in our mm -hmm. speech, right? So it's like knowledge of grammar, knowledge of geometry, knowledge of yeah. natural science, etc. So it's the same thing about habit too, right? <laughs> habit yeah habit of of yeah. grammar habit of whatever you know um so you'll notice right like that's that's he says that that's 
a sign that you're dealing with a relation, right? Mm -hmm. um, but what he says, um, or when he's just when he's moving through the category of relation, um, he makes a distinction, right? A relation is not just what is said of another, what is said towards another. Mm -hmm. um, proper relations are things that are in their very being towards another, right? So we're not talking about things that just in our speech have reference to another, but in their very being have reference towards another, right? So <clears throat> do you have just um, like, do, do you have the, the Becker number? So you, he he makes it as he, he right. talks about relations. Um, uh, 6B33, okay? Okay. Um, 6B29, right. I guess you, um, uh, he, he, he starts, but all things which are towards something are said in regard to something which reciprocates. The slave is called the slave of the master and the master is called the master of the slave mm -hmm. and the double, the double of the half and the half of the double and the greater, the lesser, the lesser, the greater. So too in other cases. Yep. And then he continues, except that sometimes they will differ by speech, by ending. As knowledge is called knowledge of the knowable, and oh, knowable, knowable by knowledge. And sensation, sensation of the sensible, and sensible, sensible by sensation. Right? So he's he's pointing out, here's here's an exception, right? Relation and is sometimes you, you have relations which are according to speech, just mm -hmm. according to speech, right? Um, oh. um and you have the examples, and and these examples are are things that are examples of qualities, right? Knowledge, sensation, right? Um, mm -hmm. Those are those are distinct distinct examples of qualities. In the next chapter, right? Knowledge is a habit. Um, sensation is a power. Mm -hmm. Is a is an inborn power, right? So that's 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 odd. That so. <clears throat> Um, and then, and then he, uh, he, 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 he kind of exaggerates. He's like, look, if we just kind of go according to the speech model, like what's, what's relative according to speech, then you can get carried away with this whole thing, right? The mm -hmm. wing is the wing of the winged and the winged is the winged of the wing, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, well, the head is the head of the headed and the headed is the headed of the head right mm, okay like, okay yeah. well that that's a sign that this this thing that we're this measure that we're using this metric that we're using to determine relation is not sufficient to actually identifying properly speaking what's first and foremost in the category mm. right it is it is a sign that that's what's most known to us um uh the the, of, of what's what might be in the category but it's not the properly it's not the it's not the um uh most distinctive mark of the category right like substance for example right what's most distinctive of the category of substance mm -hmm. that it can take on contraries while remaining one in number right yep. what's most distinctive of quantity right that it can that it, you can have equal, equal or unequal set of yeah. it right um and you know you have these these markers of mm. of, of every of every major category at least uh which um uh like quality right it's not uh it's not that it takes on qu uh, uh, qu uh contraries it's not that you have equal or equal uh, equal or unequal of it but actually that it's the similar or dissimilar yeah instead of qu of qualities mm. right that's the most distinctive marker right mm. There are other markers which are common between categories, like um, uh, having uh, um, a variation of degree, right? Like mm. this can be more. Yeah, he says that about a few of them. Yeah. Events, um, or um, whatnot. But. Um, but yeah, you're uh, looking for what's proper. What's most most of all, and and with with relation, it's the it's the relative in their being. Mm that's that's most distinctive right um so he he returns to the knowledge example in becker seven becker number seven b 22 
Um, so he's talking about, okay. he's like, okay, so this knowledge example is pretty interesting, right? He's like, it doesn't seem to be true that in all the things which are toward something that they are together by nature. For the knowable would seem to be before knowledge, right? Because you can have no, uh, you can have the knowable without knowledge, yep. but you can't have knowledge without the knowable, right? Yep. Um, and St. Thomas, he makes this very distinction when he's talking about creatures and God, right? Mm -hmm. um, he's like, you can have the creator without creatures, but you can't have the cre oh. can't have creatures yeah. without the creator, right? Yeah. So the way that the relation works from each side isn't the same. Hmm. Right. So like from the perspective of, of creation, the relation is real. There's a real connection. There's a real depend order of dependence from yep. creation to the creator, mm -hmm. right? but not the other way from creator to the creation. There isn't a real order of dependence that this mm -hmm. is not on the, is this, um, which you wouldn't have with the first kinds of examples that he was talking about. Right. Mm -hmm. If you have a double, there's an order of dependence in being on the half. Mm -hmm. And if you have a half, there's an order of dependence in being on the double, yep. right? If you have a parent, there's an order of dependence in being on the child. Mm -hmm. And if you have a child, there's an order of dependence in being on the parent. Yep. There's no such thing as being a parent without, being, without having a child. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as having a child or being a child without having a parent, right? That's what's distinctive most of all of relations. The, the re reciprocity in the being, the towards mm -hmm. another in being okay um so um what's what's distinguishing relations most of all is that having that real being reciprocity right so the way that commentators talk about relation is this is this kind of split you have relations secundum dicit right secundum speech right mm -hmm. and relations secundum essay secundum being right according to being so you have Relations according to speech and relations according to being. Or you can divide relations in another way, right? Real relations and rational relations. Right? That's another way of dividing this category. Yep. Um, real relations are when you have the term to the other having an order, a real order of dependence, right? So there's a real relation from creatures to the creator, but there's not a real relation from from God to creatures. That's yep. only a rational relation, right? That's um, right. St. Thomas makes the, it gives the example too of like, um, if you're dealing with an inanimate object, right? Um, having having a, a, a per order of perspective is rational, not real, right? But I can say the fan, the fan in this room is really to my left. Because yeah. I have an actual natural forward-facing front. Like there's a there's a real there's something real about my constitution that determines a forward and a back, and therefore a left and a right. Mm -hmm. That's um, right. So the I can say that the fan is is really to my left, right? But it's not as real to say that I'm to the right of the fan, because the fan doesn't have any like natural forward to it, right? Or you can, or, or even more clearly, like the column is, is the example of the column. I think that's what St. Thomas uses. He's like, you yeah, can say you're, the, 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 like, the column is to your left, but it's not. And you might say that you're to the right of the column, but that's less real. That's yeah. right, obviously, because there's no natural face of the column. There's no natural forward to the column. So right and left doesn't have as much meaning with a column as it does with a, a living thing with a face with a natural forward yeah, as right? a natural forward that does um, that make sense so the reason that he's bringing this all up is because you if you were to deal with qual if you do deal with quality first um and you look at the examples of the kind of the species of quality that are actually most essential to know mm -hmm. um knowledge right you might say oh well okay yeah no it makes sense to say knowledge is a habit but um, but you said that relations in chapter four are those which are towards something, and knowledge is towards something, mm -hmm. at least generally speaking. So mm -hmm. how do how does that make sense? Like it seems like without this, without this clarification, you'd have your instinct would be to say, well, I have a species that seems to 
belong equally to two highest genera and that doesn't work uh -huh. and by talking about relation before you can see how um you can have this species knowledge that does belong to two genera but not first right? uh -huh. it only belongs to relation secundum dicit because uh -huh. of the way we speak knowledge you might say has this place in relation based off of how we speak because you do say knowledge of grammar knowledge uh -huh. of yeah knowledge, knowledge of theology mm -hmm. whatever okay but in its being the kind of thing that it is separate from speech is primarily a habit right in its very nature it's a habit yeah. um it's not in its very nature something that depends uh, in its being on another and that other on its being towards it yeah right? that's, that's not the rest that's not what knowledge is yeah the way we speak might reflect something like that so you might say secondarily it's in this other category, but mm -hmm. in its being, it's not that. It's not, yeah. So you would um, say so, uh, so knowledge then primarily, would you say then is, is in the category of quality? Yeah. Yeah. yeah primarily in the category of quality by reason of, by reason of the, its being of the genus of habit. Yeah. yeah. But secondarily, you could say that secundum dici, it's yes, in so relation. relation. Yeah. But it's not secundum esse in relation. Yeah, that, the thing that, that it's uh, that would be it's co-relative. It doesn't have it. It's not reciprocate. It doesn't have a reciprocal real real relation with it. Right? Mm -hmm. Knowledge does depend on the knowable, but knowable does not depend. The knowable does not depend on knowledge. Yeah, that makes sense. So, That's pretty cool. Yeah, I got you. That actually makes sense to me. Oh, good. Like I'm I'm able to follow you. I got you. Nice. Yeah. That is interesting. So I'm looking at, and I don't know whoever translated this. Uh, I don't know. Edge Hill. Don't know him. Yeah, it's it, the way that it's easy to skip over that part uh, at chapter, it's 6B, chapter 7. But you, when you were talking, so you, when, when you read it, I guess what? That's your TAC translation? Yeah. Okay, yeah. When you talk about by ending. And he just says here, so like, so it is with every other relative term, but the case we use to express the correlation differs in some instances. And that's easy for me to skip over. So he's talking mm -hmm. about the, like literally the grammatical case. You're talking yeah. about the, the ending. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, so I mean, the, that's the relation of here because speech like, versus the relation of something in being, it, it makes that stand out. Yeah, I, and I think that like when you deal with logic in general, you have to have in mind that this is all about speech. This is it's based off of first how we speak. Mm -hmm. If you don't get that, then you're missing the order of logic. Um, so it's it is significant that how we speak it does reflect something about knowledge being in relation. There's something there's something accurate about putting knowledge there, mm -hmm. but not according to itself primarily yeah right that's the that's the thing it's not it's not like our speech is leading us astray there it's just that the way we speak is there, there ha you have to make a distinction based off of the way we speak which is accurately reflecting something about reality mm -hmm. it's just that if we were to just base it off of our the way we speak and not look into it incisively then we'd make the mistake of, of of putting it in two categories equally or in this category rather than in that one you know in relation rather than in quality but, um aristotle is very very uh very wise in his order here so obviously he obviously yeah, anticipates this problem and sees okay yeah. that's why you have to talk about this this category first even though it might be in the order of being less than mm -hmm. the category of quality right for the sake of instruction it's better to talk about relation first. Yeah. No, that uh, <laughs> that is pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. So, um, if I can maybe carry that forward for a second, when I was looking at, as I said, I've I've just been so busy this week, so I didn't get a chance to read it. But when he so he talks about posterior analytics seven, book one, chapter seven. Um, it's a seventy-five B line. I guess seven or so. 
six or seven, how in certain cases transferences, because yeah, chapter seven is about how in, dem in demonstrating you don't pass from one genus to another. Uh, right, and he talks about, you know, you don't prove geometrical truths by arithmetic and so on. And then he goes on, but in certain cases, transference is possible. Uh, how that is, I will explain later. Sorry, and can you the, say where you are again? This is uh, Posterior Analytics 1, 7, it's 75B, I don't know, line 6. Okay. Uh, well, the, the chapter opens, this is about how in demonstrating you don't pass from one genus to another. Mm. 75B6, though, is how in certain cases transference is possible, I will explain later. And so it's chapters 9 and 13 when he talks about... Um, if something is studied, but it's studied in two different sciences. And he he's kind of tends to harp on when it's, it's a higher science and a lower science, but they're, they're still being related. Uh, like either like geometry or arithmetic, both being mathematical sciences. Um, I don't think he doesn't really give any other examples. That's why I wish I'd had time to look at this more closely. Uh, there's another way, this is further in chapter 13. Another way in which the fact and the reason fact differ is when they are investigated, uh, when they are investigated respectively by different sciences. And this occurs in the case of problems related to one another as subordinate and superior, as when optical problems are subordinated to geometry, mechanical to stereometry, harmonics to arithmetic, and so on. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really sure. So like, all right, what would be the, what's the crossing of genus there? Um, so it seems like what he's talking about, can, can well, can you, where, where's that harmonic and arithmetic passage? Where's that? 79A, the first, the first, like the first five lines. Uh, or just about line 40 of um, 78B. So. All right, so yeah, this occurs in the case of problems related to one another as subordinate and superior as when optics is subordinated to geometry, mechanics to stereometry, harmonics to arithmetic, mm -hmm. data of observation to astronomy, Blah, blah. And here it's the business of the empirical observer to know the fact and of the mathematician to know the reason fact. And I'm, I'm only looking at these texts from editors. Mm -hmm. So like M M the McKeon text references where Aristotle says, I'll explain this later. The footnote there from the editor is chapters nine and 13. In the complete works, the footnote is only to chapter 13, mm. to this section up to 79A16. So just that, that paragraph there. Mm -hmm. But I'm still, I'm not sure that I see a shifting of genus or of category. I'm not really sure what he's, what he's getting at. So, yeah, I mean, I think he's, he's talking about the, the genus of the science, sciences themselves. Mm-hmm. So he's saying, look, um, I, I said earlier that when it comes to proving things in a specific science, you don't use other sciences to do that, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to middle terms. Like mm -hmm. um, The middle term is essential to a, a demonstration to connect the major and the minor premise. Um, and um, the middle terms are specific to each, t each science, right? Yep. Um, in fact, it's the, the middle term is often the definition of the subject, right? And the subject of a science is obviously specific to a science, right? Um, so yes. how is it the case that you have this stuff where you might be drawing from other sciences in the case of these sciences? Like, for example, um, geometry, astronomy, there seems to be something, some kind of drawing there. Harmonics to arithmetic, there mm -hmm. seems to be a kind of um, uh, a usage of, of the other science there. Um, uh, what, what is it, uh, what, what's going on there? Um, mm -hmm. if that's the case, well, yeah, you could, you could explain, 
I think he's saying um, uh, the order of the demonstration here, um, optics, geometry, uh, mechanics, solid geometry, music, arithmetic, those things by saying, you might say, okay, yeah, um, those sciences, those lower sciences, namely optics. Yeah, it seems he's using just subalternated sciences. Yeah, he's talking about subalternate sciences. He's saying, look, um, in an ultimate sense, you are actually using other sciences to prove, to make those demonstrations. Mm -hmm. But within the sciences themselves, you're still saying, staying the same. Like the, the, the middle terms are still specific to those sciences. But if you're going to kind of ultimately justify those middle terms, then mm. you're going to appeal to the higher sciences to do that. Interesting. 